So I just want to do a quick review of this Jennings CJ4000 scale. Uh, this is just a standard digital kitchen scale, uh, but it's really popular as a coffee scale, which is why I bought it. And uh, I don't know if you can tell from how it looks, but I bought it about five years ago. I've made thousands of coffees with this. My, uh, you know, it's been used in around the house for weighing all sorts of kitchen and general things. Uh, so it's it's been through a lot. And again, I've used it every day for about maybe three or four years before I bought my Akaya. And then I'll, recently I've probably used it maybe a couple times a week. So it's got a lot of use, held up really well. And I just wanna do a quick review because I know a lot of people are interested in this. The scale is largely known for a few things. First of all, it's price. It's about $25, so it's very reasonably priced. It's very reliable. It's very easy to use. Uh, but it doesn't have a lot of fancy features, right? There's no built-in timer. Uh, there's no, uh, what was I gonna say? No built-in timer, there's no auto tear, and it's not waterproof, so it has some, definitely some lacking in fancier features. What you do get, obviously the scales aren't made to work at an angle like this, but you have a power button, your tear, mode, you know, uh, grams, ounces, pounds, pieces, and then the pieces mode, uh, which I won't get into as so I don't really ever use it. This scale is a 4,000 gram scale, so it's four kilograms, and maybe that's like maybe nine pounds, give or take. Uh, so it's got a very high capacity. The trade-off for that high capacity is it has a low degree of precision. This is a 0.5 gram scale. Uh, if you're making espresso, I would generally recommend using a, a 0.1 gram precision scale, you definitely don't need 0.01. So tenths are perfect, hundredths are overkill, a 0.5 is fine. Uh, but really 0.5 gram scales are better for kitchen and for uh, coffee. So this one works really well as a coffee scale. And a lot of espresso scales don't have a large enough area for a, a full coffee pot, like a big, press pot, like a Bodum, Columbia, wherever you use. So uh, this is very good for that. Plus this surface area is large enough that you could put on a, uh, like a mixing bowl and fill it with flour or whatever you're doing if you wanna make pancakes or something. And with that 4,000 gram capacity, you could put a lot of stuff in there and still measure it accurately. And uh, as for accuracy, uh, I don't regularly like calibrate this scale but over the years I have checked it occasionally and it's always held up really well, uh, you know, right on the mark with the other scales I have. I don't have a bunch of like calibration weights lying around that I use, but if uh, my scales line up, I tend to accept that the probability is that they're all accurate. Uh, other features of the scale is that it runs on So it's AAA batteries, three AAA batteries. And those will last you, I don't know, like two, three years easily. Uh, alternatively, it does have an AC adapter, so you can plug it into a wall and just forget about it. Uh, that's really more for use in like a coffee shop or like, you know, an environment where this thing is gonna be on most of the day. It, the startup time is, is quite quick. Not as fast as an Akaya, but again, what was that, two, three seconds? So turning it on and off is really no big deal. Uh, it does have this beep, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it doesn't like bother me so much, but if you're making this in the morning and someone is sleeping nearby or if it's late at night and you just don't feel like listening to this stupid beep, you can't turn it off. But honestly, it's just turn it on, put your item down, tear, way and then that's it right so you really and then turn it off so you're only hearing the beep maybe three times uh this is a clever little thing this fits on here so theoretically you could use this to put like uh i don't know what you'd want touching this dirty thing but you could use this as a container it's it has a ridge here so it could go there and you could put beans or rice or something i wouldn't use this too often but it does have this little pouring spout so you could I guess theoretically use liquid if you kept it clean enough I clearly don't 
And that's really it for features, has non-skid feet, which are fine, I guess. This thing is really light, so it, it doesn't stop it so much, but it, it is not one of these scales that moves around a lot, which I do like. Uh, batteries, AC adapter recovered. Uh, metal cover here, which is nice, just in case you put something hot down on this. It has not ever melted on me or anything like that. I know like my Akaya, the uh, Lunar comes with a, <clears throat> a little rubber pad, uh, not only for as a non-skid service, but also so you don't melt the plastic. Uh, I've, it's never been an issue for me, but worth keeping, into, uh, worth taking into account. And lastly, I will say that I believe there is some backlighting, which we saw before. I forget exactly how the backlighting works. see it turn on there maybe it just takes a second to get going but it is backlit oh, no mode sorry there you go again like I've had this thing so long that I don't really worry about how it works uh, but it does have backlighting in case you want to use this in sort of like a, a darker cafe or a corner of your kitchen or something like that and then just to wrap up this thing's a really reasonable size not too small not too big uh, so it's good for general kitchen use. This really is a kitchen scale that works well as a coffee scale, not vice versa. Uh, and uh, it's fine for an espresso scale, but it will not fit on your espresso machine. So if you want to weigh your shot, it's not going to work unless you have a huge espresso machine. And that's more about the size, the width, and then the thickness, obviously, which is rather thick. Uh, so yeah, I've had this thing for about five years. Again, I've used it thousands of times and my wife has used it thousands of times uh held up well for 25 dollars. i really can't complain uh the last thing i would note is that if you'd like the cj4000 uh you know the features and the pricing of it and you don't need the 4000 gram capacity but you want a better resolution then there's another model uh linked to below i think it's called the cj600 it's a 600 gram scale that has a 0.1 gram resolution. So uh, if you're gonna make espresso or you're just like super precise about your coffee, that may be a good way to go. But uh, if you want the classic true CJ4000 scale from Jennings, uh, I do highly recommend it. So thanks for watching.